Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the October 10th, 2020 edition of Pro Wrestling Throwdown. I'm Caleb Black. This is my co-host, Luke the Big Dog Williams, our in-studio producer, the mighty Max Fury. And like always, it is time to talk some wrestling. Luke, how are you this Saturday? Heavy. And breathing? Are you breathing heavy? Sometimes. Uh, fair enough. Maximus, how are you today? I'm, I'm feeling good. A little, little, little sad about a few things. Yeah? Uh, we'll, we'll get into that. We, we definitely will. Speaking of sad, it's time to talk about... The news in wrestling in this segment, what's news in wrestling? We got some stuff going on, man. There are some things to cover. Uh, I don't know where we should get started. Let's just talk about Samoa Joe's comments. Dad, he said some stuff. He <laughs> said, so what kind of stuff? Dad, he said some things. <laughs> uh, Samoa Joe's comments that he is not, his in-ring career is far from over. So he's not going to make, not interested at this time in making a full-time transition to a producer role or a commentator role, but he's still got some life left in the ring. Oh, for sure. Samoa Joe, I think, could go for another good eight, nine years. Iconic, man. Uh, eight, nine years of, like, top bill of the card, yeah. you know, straight up storyline-wise, I think. If you remember 04 to 05 Ring of Honor Wrestling, hi, Max, uh, he was what? just like the bat. Yeah, Max. Max is right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, he's he literally just anyway. Uh, Samoa Joe was like the baddest man in wrestling. One of the toughest SOBs, the toughest guy on two legs. Oh yeah, uh, I'm here for a long time for Samoa Joe matches. I, I love I love me some Samoa Joe. Uh, Mickey James is now also added to the injured list, and boy, that list has just gotten. Ex <laughs> Extensive. Yeah, it gets These longer and longer every week, yeah. I mean, you got two guys on one show who damn near tried to kill each other, which we will get into uh, with our NXT TakeOver review, because that match was phenomenal. Uh, Ridge Holland, another NXT superstar, injured this previous week. Now Mickey James' name is on the roster. Uh, Rowan or yeah, Ivar. Or whatever Ivar he's recovering from so surgery. Yeah, it's, they're, they're, man. They're, Lee, Edge is still out. Yeah, still um, bicep. Uh uh, Killian Cross, is Karrion it Cross, is Karrion it Cross? WrestleMania time? Right, everyone's getting hurt. And it's... Yeah, usually, this happens around <laughs> around February, March. Yeah, man, I, I don't understand it. Guys are just hitting all the wrong spots, I guess. Speaking of hitting all the wrong spots, Del Rio. <laughs> Sorry for that transition. Alberto Del Rio has been indicted on several counts of sexual assault, <sighs> and he is looking at some prison time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the transition killed him. Um, Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. What a giant piece of shit. Yeah, Max, what do you think? Seriously. Giant piece of shit, right? It's just a piece of shit. And what I says that. All right, that he's a piece of shit. What the hell do you keep looking at? Max, you keep coming over. I don't see you're, anything. I'm well, looking right at the camera. Well, you're, Sorry, guys, I'm back now. You're, you're, what, 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 what did I miss? I told you. See, he's, he's been gone this whole time. That's that's just not even true. I just saw it. What, anyway, what are talking about? we're talking about injuries. Uh, we were talking about <laughs> Alberto Del Rio being a sick yeah, fuck. Alberto Del I know. <laughs> what a piece of fucking shit. What a piece of shit. And to top that off, on the piece of shit list... Is Joey Ryan, who is now countersuing he, the defendants against him, who have made the claims coming from the Standing Out movement, is now suing them collectively <laughs> yeah. in order of what, like $2 million? Well, uh, yeah, uh, something about lost revenue. Joey Ryan is, hasn't seen $2 million his entire career. He is going to get killed in Discovery. When it comes to text messages and videos. They should put him and Alberto in the same, same cell. Same fucking cell. Uh, Matt Riddle is now having to address his the, the person who made the claims against him legally. However, uh, it appears as though Matt Riddle was abdicated of the offenses that were brought against him. But now there's the disparage, uh, the disparage, disparage. Actually, no. She has now filed... A suit against WWE. Oh, that's evolved, right. WWE evolved and Royal. Royal. Yeah, and so I everybody just suing everybody. Yeah, lots of lawsuits, lots of just nefariousness and terrible, terrible people in wrestling. D. A. Morrison ripped off Black <laughs> Black Label Pro over the weekend. Yeah, by offering what to pay for Chris Masters. Yeah, uh, was Chris Masters? Um, I had a whole list I yeah. read earlier today. 
Se- numerous people. No. One of them, I think, was uh, was the guy who used to wrestle as the funk uh, the Funkasaurus. Brodus Clay. He Clay's. was one of them. Yeah. Rhino. Rhino uh, was one. Which, and then what? Canceled on him last minute. Yeah. Poor Black Label Pro man. Of course. Oh, he also had a couple other names added to the list. D.A. Morrison Bravo. has always been a piece of Joint shit. Joint the Clown. Uh, uh, Camacho Hamacho Junior. Uh, I mean, there were several. <laughs> there were several names. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's... Camacho Jr. couldn't do it because he's running for president. Do you remember when, but... when D.A. booked Christopher Daniels at a local indie wrestling show and then paid him... They, they wrestled in front of 17 fans and then didn't want to pay Christopher Daniels. Do you remember that? What a piece of shit D.A. Morrison. We just need, like, a segment every week, what a piece of shit, and then just list people. Who'd he ever beat? That was our what a piece of shit. Next week, we're bringing back who'd he ever beat. I can't wait. Uh... Speaking of not waiting and getting beaten, Jericho, I don't know why that transition worked out. It like works. Uh, Jericho has gone on to say that if not for AEW, he probably still wouldn't be wrestling. I don't know if I'd buy that. Well, I think that that sort of renaissance he had in 20, late 2017, early 2018 when he went to New Japan, maybe he wouldn't be wrestling full-time like he is for AEW, but probably still be taking shots over there. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that, yeah, I, I don't believe that he would be completely out of the wrestling business if it wasn't for AEW. 30 years, man. I know we talked about it last week, but that's an incredible... You know what that is? That's like Terry Funk level of of commitment to the business and elevating new guys. Yeah, except, you know, if you were to give Terry yeah. Funk enough money today, he would get back in the ring. So, I mean, now, it isn't really technically Terry Funk. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, no, I totally get it. Jericho's also retired a lot less than Terry. A lot That's less true. than Terry, because Jericho's never retired. He would never retire! Never retire! So, Rick flaring it up here. Woo! Uh, guys, we got a lot to cover today. We're going to talk about the draft in a separate video. We're going to talk about this week's high points and some of the definite low points in wrestling. But that's pretty much it for the news, unless we got anything I'm, I'm leaving off, fellas. Uh, Kurt Angle uh, said through an interview that he wasn't even looking towards an in-ring return. Uh, that he would like his wrestling career to stand on its own merit the way it was. He's not interested in actually getting back in the ring. You know, that is a shame for one reason. I would have loved to see him in a Ring of Honor ring just one time. For yeah. a special one-off against like one of their top technical wrestlers. Him and you know him and Jay Lethal or something like that, maybe. Totally. Uh, that's a shame. But I totally get it because he's he's you know he won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. I've heard that once or twice. Yeah, once or twice. Also he doesn't uh, mention it a lot. Uh, Natalia put out a Twitter post uh, the other day that she was back training in the ring with somebody and that she wished she could tell you who it was. Tyson Kidd. I don't believe so. I think or Ronda Rousey. Could be. I, I know Paige said that her neck is feeling better and she's looking Oh yeah, for put her. me yeah. in, coach. I'm ready to yeah. play. Yeah. Bring Paige. God, she's just so great. And she's beautiful. Can I just say that? Put her on Raw with Xavier Woods. And with that, you know what to do. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash pro wrestling throwdown. Send us an email at pro wrestling throwdown at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. What did you think about the news? What did you think about Xavier Woods? Let us know. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because up next is the NXT TakeOver 31 post show review coming up next. I uh, saw a movie once with those two. Yeah.